Hi everybody! Today we are learning about rhyming words or words that rhyme. So what does that mean? Words that rhyme or rhyming words? Now what's really fun about rhyming words is that rhyming words are all about sounds and listening. Because words that rhyme are words that sound almost the same. The end of the word sounds the same and it makes the whole word sound very, very similar. Now it's a little hard to explain. It's a little easier, a little easier if we give some examples. So let's see, what's an example of words that rhyme? Glue and shoe. They both have what sound at the end? Ooh, ooh, ooh. Glue, the beginning has a g, and this doesn't have a g, right? But the end is the same. Glue and shoe. It's almost like a song, right? Glue and shoe. Let's try another pair. I have a bear, a bear, and let's see what rhymes. Ugh, this is a little big, but it's a, a chair. Chair, air, you hear the air at the end? Chair, bear, right? It's almost like a song. They rhyme, chair and bear. Now it's not only two words. I could think of other words that rhyme with chair and bear. Chair, bear, how about hair? Chair, bear, hair. How about if I say fair, right? When we play games, we have to be fair. Um, let's see more words that rhyme with shoe and glue. How about boo? Like a ghost, right? Boo! Or if you say moo, right? Like the sound of a cow. Moo. There's lots and lots of worms, uh, words that rhyme. Um, now what's fun is that we find rhyming words everywhere. You might even hear them in a song, right? So let's say you say, let's sing one of our Shavuot songs. I am a mountain so very high. High, let's see what rhymes with high. I can reach right up to the sky. High and sky. And doesn't it make the song sound so beautiful? I am a mountain so very high. I can reach right up to the sky. High, sky. The Torah should be given on me. Let's see what rhymes with me. For I am as tall as can be. You see. That actually had three rhyming words. Should be. The Torah should be given on me. Me. For I am as tall as can be. You see. Me. B. C. It's the rhyming words that make the songs sound beautiful, right? And there's rhyming words all around. Now, I also thought we could read this book. It has some rhyming words in it. It's called The Eye Book. It's a book that's all about your eyes and things that you see with your eyes. And I think we might find some rhyming words in the book. So let's see how it goes. Whoa, it's a lot of eyes. The Eye Book by Dr. Seuss. Oh, I love Dr. Seuss. Ready? Now, not all the words are gonna rhyme but some of them are gonna rhyme. I, eyes, right? One eye, two eyes, eyes. My eyes, my eyes, right? My eyes, my eyes, his eyes, his eyes. Eyes and eyes, it doesn't really rhyme because they're the same word, right? Rhyming words have to be different words that sound the same. Wink eye, wink eye, Pink eye, pink eye. See, wink and pink rhyme. P -p pink, whoa, whoa, wink. So they're not the same word, but they sound the same at the end. Wink, pink. My eyes see, his eyes see. I see him and he sees me. Now that was a little tricky. Listen to this again. My eyes see, his eyes see. I see him and he sees me. So see and me rhyme. See and me. Our eyes see blue, 
Our eyes see red. They see a bird. They see a bed. So red and bed. They see the sun. They see the moon. They see a fork, a knife, a spoon. What were the rhyming words? They see a moon, a spoon, moon and spoon. They see a girl, they see a man, a boy, a horse, and an old tin can. So man and can. Let's see what else the eyes can see. They look down holes, they look up poles, holes and poles. They look down holes, they look up poles. Our eyes see trees. They look at clocks. They look at bees. They look at socks. That was a lot of rhyming words. Our eyes see trees, trees and bees. Clocks and socks. Clocks and socks. Our eyes see flies. Our eyes see ants. Here are the flies, here are the ants. Sometimes they see pink <laughs> underpants. Ants, pants. Rhyme, right? Ants and pants. Our eyes see rings. Oh my gosh, look at all the rings on the fingers. Our eyes see strings. Rings and strings. They see so many, many things. So we have rings and strings and things. So many things like rain and pie and dogs and airplanes in the sky. So I think I have to read that one again for you to hear it. So many things like rain and pie, pie, and dogs and airplanes in the sky. So pie and sky. And so we say hooray for eyes. Hooray, hooray, hooray for eyes. So that was a book about all the different things that our eyes see, and which is so fun. I love that book and I love Dr. Seuss. Now, if you wanna practice more about rhyming words, I sent mommy a little packet for you to do if she prints it out for you, that's great. And if she didn't, you could do it with me right here. So this is the cover that you can color. It says rhyme and match fun. You can even put your name here on the bottom. And then we have coloring pages, but they're also worksheets. So I'm gonna choose red to do my worksheets and I'm gonna show you. So you can look at the different pictures, okay? and match them to the rhyme word. So obviously you can color them in. You can color in all the pictures, no problem. But then we're gonna look at each picture and we're gonna find the matching rhyming word. From this row and this row, we have to find the word that, ra the, that rhymes. So does coat rhyme with box? Coat, box, coat, box, no. Coat, truck, coat and truck? Coat, truck, coat, truck. They don't sound the same. How about coat and boat? Coat and boat. Yes, they rhyme. So I'm going to draw a line from coat to boat. Let's keep going. Socks. Socks rhymes with box. That's right. Socks and box. So I'm going to draw another line. Box and socks. And the last one is truck. Rhymes with duck. Truck and duck. Perfect. And I'll draw another line. And can you color this in? Of course you can. Again, the rhyming words are coat and boat. Box and socks. Truck and duck. Do you hear them? It's It rhymes. Ready? One more sheet. Let's see what we have here. Here we have a car. Which word rhymes with car? Moon, cat, or star? Car and star. That's right. Car and star. 
Let's look again. Spoon. Does spoon rhyme with moon or cat? Spoon. Moon or cat? Spoon and moon. That's right. Last one. Cat and bat. Cat and bat. Ah, ah, ah. Right? Cat and bat. I'm going to draw another line so I can match them all up. And of course, you can color these in. You could staple it. You could make it into a little booklet, right? And that's all about rhyming. Great job, guys. See you later.